left hand turn signal not working and the left hand brake signal not working. Now the running lights do work. So the first thing you'll probably want to check is a light bulb, which is what I did. Here is the, the old bulb that I took out. Now you can see it's got two filaments in there. One is for the running lights. The other filament is for the turn signal and brake lights. Now I looked at this and those filaments looked like they were intact to me. And so I just said, oh, it's not a bulb issue. What I should have done was to take the bulb out of the right hand side and substitute it in over here on the left hand side and I would have discovered that it was simply a bulb issue. But I did not do that and that led me to some diagnostics and that's what I wanna share with you today. The first thing that you would like to do in diagnosing an electrical issue would be to check the vehicle first. My particular setup has what I believe they refer to as a seven pin circular going to a four pin flat. Someone has invented this diagnostic tool. It is that connector, but they've added these diagnostic lights here for running lights and signal lights. I've just turned the lights on to the vehicle and now I've turned the headlights off, but I've turned the left turn signal on. I've turned the right hand turn signal on. And finally, we show the brakes being applied. Inside the driver's door, there's a little access panel. You pull it down, and what they've got are labels for the different fuses. We're gonna pop the hood and look at the fuse boxes under the hood. Here's a fuse box here. I've already looked. There's nothing related to towing or a trailer under that. So here's one. Let's check that out. You just get your finger under here, and you just pull on that cap. But when you look at the cap underneath, towing turn right hand relay, towing left hand relay. Now one thing I ended up doing since my right hand was working properly, I did swap out those relays. They both functioned in either position. Also in the middle are some fuses for towing. Now here's another fuse box over here. Again, you just uh, Put your finger under one of these ends and inside the cover they're going to label these things for you i did remove that 15 it's a good fuse so at this point we're confident that we have electricity to the back of the vehicle what we're going to do now is follow that electrical path all the way back to the light bulb on the end of the trailer before we do i want to show you we live here on the gulf coast and we do all our boating in salt water. And the salt air, salt water, takes an effect on connections. So try and keep your electrical connections clean. Much better than I've done here, but this is done with sandpaper. I know they have tools to clean these things properly, and if you can get one, do that. I do want to stop here and give some advice. I want you to look at this mess here with this white. This is actually Flex Seal paint. The reason I did that is because in diagnosing, I, I used the tip to penetrate the insulation on this wire, on the yellow and the green wire. Now, I did it and I do not recommend that you do it. I since have read where that is just opening yourself up to future problems with corrosion. It's like an open wound. So that's why I sealed it with Flex Seal paint. My connection is this black wire and it gets tucked in here and it goes through the tongue and it comes out here. Now this is the one that goes down to the left. Look at that. As you pull it out, here is another connection and that had built up a lot of corrosion. I've touched these up a little bit with some sandpaper, try to help, help the connection. Now let's hook up our meter to this and all we're gonna do is to see if we have electricity from the back of the vehicle through the tongue 
to this connection. Right, so what we've got here is the yellow wire, which is our left turn signal and our brake light. That looks like it is in that pin there. And the white wire looks like it's in the middle and it's that, and the white wire is our ground wire. And I've just got another lead to that. Different multimeters have different functions and features. We're going to want to test DC voltage. So we're gonna to go to this one here. It's the V with the straight line. And you know your car has a 12 volt battery. So you're gonna to wanna to go to the function that's above 12, the next setting above 12. Now we've connected the red lead to the yellow wire on the trailer, and we've got the black lead connected to the ground. So let's see. We've now already turned on the uh, signal on the vehicle. All right. Yeah, that looks great. Now the reason it's jumping around is because the signal is on and off, on and off. But when it is on, at the right moment, we're getting a 12, which is exactly what we want. So to continue on with the diagnostic, what we'll do, we'll remove these leads. Let's reconnect this. And we'll push those wires back in. You don't want to pinch or crimp from the tongue where it splits off left and right. We've got a wire that goes down through the frame. And here, this is just a little rubber uh, grommet of sorts, just to help keep it in place. But we're going to fish out that wire. We're going to discover that there is another plug. Now, this is on the back of the trailer, and this part of the trailer actually gets submerged in salt water when we launch. This was really corroded when I took it apart initially. Uh, it took some doing, quite a bit of wiggling back and forth. I've used some sandpaper to do the best I can to clean up those contacts. I've got the signal turned on in the vehicle. Let's get this to the setting we want. It's gonna be jumping around on us again. There we go. What I've done is reconnected that and pushed it back up inside of the trailer. What we'd like to do now is just test the very end of that yellow wire to see if the light bulb is actually getting electricity. You can see that those two feed in under there and if you just push them out, there's that yellow lead. What we're gonna do is take our lead and connect it and then we're gonna take our ground lead and we're just gonna connect that because the white wires are ground and that goes right to this base here. So I'm just gonna connect that to ground like so. All right, I have the vehicle left turn signal on. There we go. We're getting electricity all the way to the light bulb itself. That would lead one to believe that the issue is probably with the light bulb itself. As I stated at the outset of this video, it was in fact a mere light bulb issue. But I wanted to take this opportunity just to share a practical approach on how to diagnose an electrical issue with your trailer. I hope it was helpful. This is Landry, the average reasonable person. Thank you very much.